Hello, I'm Carrie and I'm from the Serenette Clarksville District Library and we are going to make um, a book purse project today as part of our 2020-2021 fall and winter adult programming. So in your kit you will have an old book cover that we've removed the pages already, um, a cereal box, I already trimmed mine out, um, Yours will be a full cereal box, a foam brush for your glue, a container of tacky glue, a container of Mod Podge, um, a button for your closure, um, a piece of twine, and a piece of ribbon, and a um, large piece of fabric, book cover, which we'll talk about later, and a blank piece of paper to make your um, insert wing template. And then what we're going to do is lay your cardboard cereal box down flat um, on your table and then you're going to trace your um, book cover um, out on your cardboard cereal box. You want to match your book spine with the side of your cereal box um, when you trace it and cut it out. You do want to cut it um, slightly smaller than your book cover because once we cover it with fabric, um, it'll match better. You don't want it too big. And so after you trim that, you adjust your spine so it fits nicely. Um, we're going to take our piece of fabric. I've already cut a large piece out for mine, but you're going to cut um, a large piece out. You want at least an inch around um, your cardboard um, enough to fold over and cover your piece of cardboard in your fabric. And then what we're going to do is take our tacky glue and we're going to fold over our fabric and cover our piece of cardboard in our fabric. So I'm just going to, I'm going to start on my long side here and make a good strip of tacky glue. And I'm going to fold this over. Press it down. We do this on all four sides. We want to watch our corners so that we fold them nicely. You can see I have little wings here, so I'm going to kind of fold them in. Press them flat. Okay, so that is our inside. And we are going to lay this up to the side and let this dry. So we are going to take our paper and we need a pencil and we're going to make um, our wing template. So you're going to take your book cover, you're going to lay it open at a good angle here and we're just going to trace the inside and then we're going to cut that and this is going to be my template for my wings. Okay so we're taking um, another piece of our fabric we're folding it in half so the fold is at the top and we want the large part of our template on the fold. And we want to allow, oh, I would say about um, a half an inch or so um, cut around the sides of our template. It does not have to be straight. We're going to be gluing this and tucking it. So, so we have our wings cut. And then what we're going to do is fold these inside out like so, both of them. See, they're not shaped very well. That's okay. And we're going to take our tacky glue 
and we're just going to glue the sides, the long sides, not the short side. We're going to leave that open. it down. Okay, we're going to let that dry. We'll do the same thing for this side. Okay, so we're going to set these off to the side so they can dry. Okay, and while we're letting our three pieces dry, which is our book insert and our two wings, um, we're going to prepare our um, book cover. So you will have your two handles. You will need your twine and your ribbon and your closure, closure button. We're going to, this is about 12 inches long, we're going to cut it in half. And we're going to attach our handles. Um, we want them in the center of the book, so Let's fold this in half here. See how far we want our handle. I think that looks good to me. You take your handle. And take your tacky glue. And center it. If you have a ruler, you can center it. to me so I'm going to put some glue down and then you're going to want to glue those two pieces together also I'm glue in the middle of your ribbon I'm going to scoop my handles so this so it's up a little bit off the top of the purse okay and I'm going to do the same to this side so now we want to prepare um, our loop and our clasps. Take our twine and cut that in half. We're going to thread one through our wooden clasp. Your clasp might look slightly different than this one. going to tie it in a knot. And then our other end, this will be our loop. I tied it in a knot. I just want to make sure it's going to go over our So we have those two pieces ready to glue. Um, but I'm going to allow these to dry a little bit. So I'm going to move this out of our way. And we're going to go back to our wings. So it should be dry enough. We're going to gently turn them inside out. So we have our two wings ready. If you have an iron and you want to iron these out flat, that's um, you can do that. But I'm not going to do that today. So. Um, now, we're, while we're waiting for our handles to dry a little bit, we can take our cardboard insert that we did and um, we are going to start gluing our wings on the cardboard insert. So we want to take the short end and glue that, glue it on the bottom of the spine. So we're just going to adjust it a little bit. We want to see, see that's way too tall, so I want to go up more. Again, a little bit more. I cut it way too big. That's okay. 
That looks about good to me. Um, so I'm going to mark that. I'm going to glue it in the center. Okay. And I'm just going to put glue. Now I'm going to um, put my tacky glue outside one of the cardboard and I'm going to glue a wing on there. Mine's got a little bit there. I'm going to end up folding that over but I'm not going to do it right at this moment and glue the other side. Okay, so you can see that's what it's going to be doing. Okay, and then we can do the same on this side. If you need any adjusting, you want to do it before your glue dries here. So we are going to let that dry. Just going to wing it off to the side. And then we're going to check our handles here. It's still wet, but I think we can um, work with the rest of our purse here. So. Because our handles are in the middle, because we've got round handles, our loop and our clasps are going to go on the inside of that. So, we're just going to want to glue those down. We'll put a glue on top of there on the ribbon. And then we're going to reinforce that with a piece of fabric. From my experience of making these other samples that I have over here, um, it works better to do that. So I'm just going to cut a couple strips of fabric that's left. I'm just going to anchor that ribbon down and our clasped down piece of fabric. Um, so it doesn't need to be anything special. And we're just going to lay it over the top. Push it down. I'm going to glue the extra pieces there. dry. Um, so we're going to let everything set for about 20 minutes or so and just give it all a chance to bind and then we'll be back to um, glue our insert inside of our book cover.
Okay, so now we are back. We've let everything dry a little bit. It's still wet, um, but it'll be okay to do the purse insert. Um, so we're on about step nine of our project. Um, so now we are going to glue our insert um, into the inside of our book cover. So we're first going to glue the spine down. I'm going to take quite a bit of glue here and I'm going to brush it on. It's really good there. And I want to make sure I get my fold because I had to create a crease um, that I get that in the spine correctly. Because my cereal box um, was a little bit too wide. We'll make sure it's on there good. Um, press it down. Okay, and then we're going to move on to one, the front or back cover. Make sure you, you don't, that your loop is sticking out, so you don't want to glue that down. Same with your insert there. And I'm going to bring mine up. And, okay, and then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to bring the other side down. And I'm just going to press this in a little bit. I had extra material there, so it's just um, making it stick out a little bit. So I'm just going to give it some firm holds there. Okay, so I've put a little weight on my book just to allow it um, a little bit more dry time. I had to touch it up a little bit with some more glue. So I'm going to trim this out. Um, and use this book cover for our purse today. So what I'm first going to do is just um, cut here on the folds. And I'm going to see about where I need about a half inch on both sides, probably. So we're going to try that. Um, I'm going to measure a half inch. trim that very well, but that's still going to work. And just a little too long. And 
and then I'm going to use the back too. this a little bit. I'm a very good cutter. I can even cut straight with a ruler. Um, So I got my front and back covers pretty good. Okay, so we're ready for our final step of our book purse project, and that's um, doing our front and back cover, decorating it with either your book jacket that you trimmed up or leaving it the way it was if you're... Um, book was in really good shape um, or decorating it some other way um, that you have thought of at home. Um, we are going to um, use your container Mod Podge. I rinsed out our foam brush and um, we're going to Mod Podge our cover. So I'm just going to brush Mod Podge down to act like glue first. Position it on your book, however you want. You want to press it down. And I'm going to do the other side too. Okay, so you can tell now what it's going to look like when we're done with the match patch. And I'm going to start layering my match patch on top to work out the bubbles. And I'm going to let that dry for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and do another coat. Okay, so I allowed um, some drying time for our first uh, coat of Mod Podge. Actually looks really good. So I'm going to do another coat. And this time I'm going to kind of fill in around the edges. Okay, so now we are ready for our final coat of Mod Podge. And I'm just going to hold the book purse like this. I want to do the spine this time. Along with this, I'm going to do another coat on the sides too. And I am going to set it on top of something. Maybe this jar and just really let it dry for 15 minutes or so. 
and that would be our final step. And then if you wanted to do any kind of your own decoration, which I might, and if I do, I will post a picture of that um, on any imperfections that you don't like or you might want to add a, uh, some sort of decoration to the front. Um, we'd love to see your pictures. And thank you for joining us for our 2020-2021 Fall and Winter Adult Program.